for I, thy God, thy Lord is a jealous God. So according to the Old Testament, I will worship his prohibition. And Jesus Christ peace be upon himself. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 20. Think Baby, you can call me a superman. Chuchu tuta taka ni takuta ma. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are finding Jesse. And we want to thank everybody out there who've been able to, you know, give us reaction videos. You guys are amazing. And we want to thank the people who've been subscribing. Thank you so much for getting us to, to uh, and thank you so much for getting us close to 11,000 subscribers. You guys are really, really amazing. And uh, another important thing, guys, we have, oh, we have created a Patreon where you can just go and watch uh, some of our exclusive videos some of the videos that have been blocked somehow i mean we cannot upload it on youtube uh patreon is a platform where it allows creators to uh, actually upload videos that uh they've, they've been put into like copyright claims and something like that and or maybe just having like exclusive content or something like that something that probably you would want uh to listen to and on patreon we have segments of things that we do we have our podcasts. We'll be posting our podcast. We'll be doing reaction videos exclusive. If you want us to do a reaction video, just let us know in the comment. Just let us know on the Patreon. We're going to do it for you. So what we're going to do is that the link is going to be on the description below. Just click that link. I think it's the first link or the second link. Uh, click that link and it's going to take you to our Patreon. Just make sure to join, subscribe. And be part of the family and thank you so much so right about now we're going to do another reaction video this one right here was suggested by a lot of people and uh, people love zaki naik i mean he's a, he's, a, he's a good guy i mean he has some good messages here and there so a lot of people suggested that we should go react to the majority of the people of the world worship idols and they are all wrong misguided and this is by dr zaki naik so without any further ado guys let's get it you know, I travel more than 55 countries and Quran and Hadith, they prohibit the idol worship. But you go, you other religion, Christianity, uh, this one, uh, Buddhism, and Chinese religion, Jainism, all other religion, they have idol worship. And you know, Muslim, maybe they are 15 to 20 percent in this world, total, per percentage wise. And so, other people are wrong. You know, Christian, one minute. Uh, any Anglican Church or Russian Orthodox or Greek Orthodox or Catholic or Protestant, you know Chinese, they have the big statue of the God. So all, all they are wrong? Well, that's a very good question. He is saying the Muslims are approximately 15-20%, some say 25%, whatever it is, you say 15%, 20%, I have got no problem. So he's telling that Christians, they do idol worship, I agree with you. He says that Buddhism, Create big statue. What is in there wrong? Brother, the majority doesn't believe in Islam. In Islam, the truth prevails. The majority people, a couple of hundred years ago, said the world was flat. Majority. Do you know that? Majority of the people, few hundred years back, said the world is flat. Is the world flat, Brother Mahesh? No. Yeah. Yeah. So, majority people can be wrong. In Islam, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Isra, chapter number 17, verse number 81, وَقُلْ جَعَلْ حَقَّ مُزَاقَ الْبَاطِلْ إِنَّ الْبَاطِلَ قَانَ الْزَوْكَ Say that truth has arrived and falsehood perish. For falsehood is by its nature bound to perish. Therefore in Islam, majority never wins. If you go to America, in America, pornography is legalized. Do you believe in pornography? Uh, no, so many no, 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 do you believe in pornography? I don't believe. Very good, very good human being. I congratulate you. But the majority of people in the Western world believe in pornography. So will you believe in pornography? Will you see pornography? Very good. Good boy. See, you are close to the truth. So majority never wins. As far as you say, in Christianity, idol worship is there. In Christianity, idol worship is not there. Christians do idol worship. Like some Muslims do wrong things. If you read the Christian Bible, which you have read the Christian Bible, I'm sure, it's mentioned in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7, 8 and 9, Thou shalt not have any graven image of me, Almighty God, He said it, in the Old Testament, Thou shalt have 
no graven image of me, of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, and the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not serve them, nor bow down to them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. Same message repeated in the book of Exodus. Chapter number 20, verse number 3 to 5, that thou shalt have no graven image of me, of anything, of any likeness, in the heaven above, in the earth beneath, in the water beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them, nor serve them, for I, thy God, thy Lord, is a jealous God. So according to the Old Testament, I have no worship is prohibited. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, it's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 20, think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Whosoever shall break one of the least commandments and teach me to do so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall keep the commandments, shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, in no way shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. That means if you want to enter the kingdom of heaven, according to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, you have to follow each and every law of the Old Testament, of Moses, peace be upon him. No making images of Almighty God. Yet they make. Why? All the Christians don't make. The Protestants don't make. Your knowledge of Christians is a bit less. You are a student yet. The Catholics, they make. They make a statue. That is the reason the Protestants, the Protestants, what you're doing is wrong. So according to the Bible, you should not make images of Almighty God. I agree with you. Most of the Hindus, they do idol worship. And I quoted earlier, Nasa Sipate Masti. Of that God, there is no Pratima. There are no images. There are no sculptures. There are no statues. Brother, do you do idol worship? I am doing that. Ah, but you are not following the Veda. Because I believe in all religion, all the ah, belief, all the you know, God knows because you know God knows all religion. Brother, if you are believing in all the religion, no, that thing. means irrespective of whether you are following other religion or not, you are not following Hinduism. Brother, you are not no, following no, Hinduism. What I am telling you, God is sleeping now. He knows everything. He created all the earth and heaven. So He knows every religion has their own place, like Islam. Brother, let's ask one question at a time. There's a big queue there. I'll answer your next question. After that, go behind the queue. You are most welcome to ask you. Fine? You are the if God is sleeping. Allah gives this answer in the Quran. In Surah Bakra, chapter number 2, verse number 255, Allah says, Allah la ilaha la That Allah is eternal, absolute, He self subsisting. He does not require to sleep. No slumber can seize Him, nor does He require rest. You and I require to sleep. You and I require rest. God does not require to sleep. Allah clearly says in the Quran, if He wanted, He could have made each and every human being except Islam submit to the will. If you want it very easy, just kun fair kun. But this is a test for the hereafter. God is testing you. God is testing me. If God wants, He can easily make you not do idol worship. But where is the test? The test is, God has given you the rules. Now do you follow the rule or not? You say, do you follow all the religion? You are not following Hinduism. You are not following Islam. You are not following Christianity. You are not following Sikhism. You are not following Buddhism. Buddhism, quote me any reference from Dhamma Pad from any Buddhist scriptures where Buddha said, make a statue of me. He never said that. When did he say that? Tomorrow, suppose, tomorrow, if any Muslim makes a statue of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, if he makes a statue and calls the Muslim, I say it's wrong. The Prophet never said, I make a statue of him. But just because someone diverts and does the wrong thing, whether he's in minority or majority, that does not become the truth. Buddha never said make a statue of him. So if someone is against the Buddhist culture, they are helping the Buddhists follow the religion. So just because they made a big statue of Buddha, that does not mean they are following Buddha. Therefore I said, if you want to understand religion, don't look at followers. Brother Mahesh, don't look at me. Look at the scripture. Look at the Quran. Read the Quran. Read the Veda. At least what is common follow. What is not common Keep it aside. If you say you follow all the religion, you're not following Hinduism. You're not following Christianity. You're not following Islam. Leave us at all. I am requesting you at least follow what is common. What is not common, you can discuss later on. You're not even following what is common. <laughs> Leave us at following all the religion. So the day you stop yes. doing idol worship, yes. then I can say at least you're following one major part of all the religion. The day you believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him as the last messenger, then I can say you are following the two major pillars in most of the major religions. Hope that answers the question. <laughs>
Wow, wow, such an amazing message right there. First of all, to start with, and um, to start with the idol worshiping, I mean, I feel like for me, idol worshiping is not good, like, just to be honest, it's not, it's not something that should be admirable, something that should be practiced or something like that. I feel it's like mocking God or something. I feel like it's just like trying to try to create an image and put it put it out there and um, making it look more supreme or superior than, than God. I feel like it's not it's not uh, good. I mean, it's not really really good. So when it comes to idol worshiping, I don't really uh, relate to that. I mean, it's 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 not applicable so um when you're going to the yeah and a lot of people have been misguided i mean most of the religion actually you know when we talk about denominations that we have in christianity there's one uh denomination which is catholic they actually have statues and they uh, i don't know if they worship the statue or they pay homage to the statue but i feel that's so wrong anyway so to jump into what Dr. Zaki Naik was saying, like, because the guy was saying, like, he, um, like, he follows all the religion, I get it, all the religion, and, I mean, it's, it's, it's fine, I mean, that's, uh, that's his own, um, uh, what do you call it, choice to do that, you get it, but I feel like following all the religion, it, it, it's like not knowing exactly what you really want or something. But if you have a common understanding which you know that um, there is one God, I think that's the best thing ever. Because all these religions, as you can see, like they have only, they have one common understanding and that is we praise to one God, like we bow down to one God. They suggest that there is some branches that we have to follow, not even branches, like is divided into different pillars like this Islam here, there's Christianity, there's Judaism, there is. And even in those religions, there are denominations. You get it. I mean, there's so much that is involved in that. That's why, uh, for me, I feel like I believe in the truth. Yeah, I believe in the truth, and I believe that um, if there's the truth in front of me, I'll be able to, to like, comprehend it. I'll be able to, 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 uh, to look at it and be able to say, like, this this is it, you get it, and I understand that God is is the one who created us, you get it, so we as human beings, we are, um, we are supposed to be submissive, we're supposed to be obedient, and us having these religions, let, the, let not the religions that are around us um, deceive us, or maybe try and misguide us not to actually have that common understanding or something like that so anyway i feel like it's such an amazing topic right here and idol worshiping is not good that's my own opinion just yeah i feel that anyway guys if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video right here and also i want to ask you a question just let me know in the comment section do you think idol worshiping is good do you think what the catholics are doing is good do you think what the hindus are doing is good or any other religion that worships uh, something or or thing uh or or maybe they have a statue or something like that. Just let me know. Do you feel like it's it's it's, it's a good way, it's the correct way? Uh, just let me know in the comment section below what your thought is, and we can get it going. Anyway, and uh, the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos to give you a better, better content. And last but not the least, we're gonna see you in the next video. And peace out.